shortly after astronaut Cooper blasted off on his historic flight, space officials released a recorded conversation he had with his Cape Canaveral communicator and fellow spaceman, Walter Schirra, during the final countdown as Cooper heard it. Here they are. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, This is a tape being played by Mercury Control. Roger, uh, Biko. Roger, you Biko. Confirm staging. And you can feel the staging. We're good on Biko time. Seco should be nominal. Roger. Go to the tower. Roger, confirm your tower. <coughs> Roger, retro jettison switch off. Retro jettison switch off. Okay, fuel is go. Oxygen is go. Cabin pressure sealed at 5-5, five, 5-6 five, five, and holding. Roger, sealed on 5-6 and holding. Very good. Pitch minus 4. Ah, Roger, Adrian. Pitch. You look real pretty here. She's not real pretty. Uh, we have a boat well full of Barracuda and we'll serve squad up forward. All right. Roger, Adrian. Pitch. 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 Seven years, all go. We have a full go here for you, Gordo. Roger. And this is Sigma 7 down here, buddy. That's what I said, Sigma. Phase 7 is go. Roger, Phase 7. All systems are turned. Roger, your pitch indication is minus 4. We concur. Uh, roger. The trajectory looks real good, Gordo. I'll give you a mark on point 8. Uh, roger. From what we can... He over here in this conversation, as amateurs on the ground, everything was going perfectly and dead on schedule in this conversation. Roger, we'll still go here, coming up on point eight, stand by. Roger. As astronaut Cooper finished his first orbit of the Earth about 90 minutes after takeoff, it was obvious all was going well. Now came the time to decide how many trips he would make as his first goal. That decision was announced by Colonel John Powers, Information Officer for Project Mercury. <laughs> 